Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Shangri-La KL to check out the buffet done by the Lemon Garden. And I know it's going to be amazing. I had a little look just now and it was wonderful. So uh, let's go have a proper look, shall we? The Lemon Garden Signature Buffet features an extensive array of dishes from Asian delights to Western favorites. From sashimi to spaghetti, the Lemon Garden Buffet has got you covered. There are a couple upcoming promotions for the Lemon Garden, which includes the Taste of Italy Sunday Brunch on November 26. These are the prices for the buffet, so pause now to have a better look. Here are the prices and dates for the festive buffet sessions. Okay, so the first thing you guys see when you walk into the Lemon Garden is actually the desserts, but we'll cover that later. First off, we're gonna start with the salads, and you guys know I just, I love salads so much. Mwah, muy bien. So over here, we've got a salad station where a chef will actually prepare salads for you. You can choose what ingredients you want, the extra sauces and everything. The chef will take the salads from this wall, put it into this bowl, mix it up, and voila, oh voila, salad. Okay, moving on from the salads, we've got the Italian section where we start off with vegetables because this place is very healthy. The lemon garden, lemon's a fruit. No, lemon's a vegetable, it's a fruit. And uh, it's on the same family as vegetables. And you know, they just love vegetables over here, as you can see with the tomato basil, the garlic confit, uh, zucchinis, olives, uh, carrots, and we've got Italian bread as well. This looks very interesting and healthy. We've got pizzas, you know, salmon pizza, a duck pizza, some uh, Italian rice balls, as well as a bruschetta. And it just looks wonderful. I feel like I'm in Italy right now, you know? They're very nice. And it would not be Italian food without a little pasta. And here we've got a pasta station where a chef can actually make you a custom pasta with four base sauces, seafood marinara, chicken bolognese, beef bolognese, and cream sauce that contains beef. Oh, and next to that, we've got the parmesan, you know, the cheese, we've got garlic and oil, and something else, which looks quite delicious as well. And now we're moving on to the Western section where we've got a variety of different dishes and it just looks wonderful. We've got soups, we have shellfish chowder, we have a braised lamb, also buco, I think I'm pronouncing it right, and it looks just wonderful. We have giant squid. Have you guys ever tried giant squid? I personally have not. I'm gonna try this in a bit. It looks amazing. We've also got uh, baked gratin seafood. We've got grilled chicken with brown sauce. We've roasted potatoes, uh, vegetable casserole, and grilled oysters. I actually have not tried grilled oysters either, so I will be most definitely trying that in a little bit. You know, this buffet is amazing. There's so many things I've never seen in my life, like this lobster thermidor that just looks heavenly. This looks like it would send me to heaven. It's just amazing, you know? Uh, we've got lemons because this is the lemon garden after all. Hope you guys you know, realize the... Anyways, moving on, we have a salmon wellington and I've never seen this too. I've seen beef wellingtons, but never a salmon one. And it's, it just looks so good. We've got a bunch of different sauces over here. And finally, we have the star of the show, the roasted beef strip loin. And it just looks... I, I can't even describe it. I just want it in my mouth. That's all I know. I've just reverted back to a, my primal whatever. It's just, I need that. I need this soon. So you know how just now I mentioned the beef was the star of the show? Well, that was the land animal star of the show. Now we're on to seafood and this seafood section is just beautiful. This is what, this is actually what heaven looks like. I lied just now, that wasn't heaven. This, this is heaven. Look at all the sashimi. It looks just so fresh, so delicious. And look at that tuna. It's just mwah. Oh, and the salmon, of course. Mon amour. That's French for my love, because I love salmon so much. Moving on, we have oysters, and these look fresh, like they're just plucked from the sea, you know, just so good. Look at that, wow, amazing. And of course, we've got more Japanese cuisine. We've got sushis, we've got makis, and even rolls, and all of these just look, oh, controlling myself. I gotta control myself, because these just look wonderful, so good, and so fresh. And right next to the Japanese cuisine, we have got a ton of fresh seafood. Just look at how fresh this is. It's so fresh, it's still moving. I'm kidding, it's not actually still moving, it's, but it's really fresh, it's super, super fresh. We've got crayfish, black mussels, crabs, mantis prawns, which are very scary. We've got scallops, we have got lobsters, and we've got more crabs and just more crabs and clams and tiger prawns and so many pieces of crab. It's just crabtastic, it's wonderful. Original joke, by the way. And if you guys are looking for a little taste of Malaysia, we've got the Malay and Indian cuisine section, where we've got 
two types of fish and they just look amazing. I'm a big fan of fish, as you guys already know. We have got peanut sauce, we've got ketupats, beef satay. Oh, this is just Hari Raya time, you know, it's just reminding me of it. I love that time of the year. Rendang is my favorite with lemang, woohoo, good stuff. But moving on, we've got a ton of, you know, classic Malay dishes that include, you know, dishes with prawn, beef, chicken, and it's just amazing. And next to that, we have the Indian food section. I think this is also to celebrate uh, Diwali, which is coming up in, uh, my watch doesn't tell the date, but if I'm not mistaken, two days from now. And we've got a ton of Indian dishes. We have chicken masala, nasi biryani, nasi biryani ayam, fish curry. It's just so good. And of course, my favorite for when it comes to Indian cuisine, naan. And naan goes well with all these curries and especially this lamb vindaloo. Oh, good, good stuff. I just love it so much. We've also got a little noodle station right next to the Malayan Indian food where you can choose between clear soup and laksa. And there's a bunch of different little ingredients you guys can put into the soups to make the perfect soup, the soup of your dreams. It looks so fresh. Everything here just looks so fresh and smells, smells amazing, especially this. Oh, it's got some kick. And there are more classic Chinese dishes like the steamed fish. And actually it's sustainable. Sustainable steamed fish with soy sauce, spring onions and garlic oil. And it, wow, it smells. I love the smell of coriander. It just, it does something to me. Uh, moving on, we have roasted duck. We have roasted pepa chicken. We've got nestum tiger prawns. Uh, we've also got braised mushrooms and vegetables, a Wayong style chicken, seafood fried rice, prawn spring rolls, and barbecue fried siu pao. It's just so, so nice. It's great. And finally, closing off the Chinese food section, we've got three different types of soups. Double boiled chicken soup with old cucumber, which I, I love this. I used to have this as a kid and it's just, again, muy bien, muy bien. Spanish, I'm, I'm learning Spanish, kind of. We've also got double boiled soup with chicken and herbs, as well as double boiled winter melon soup with chicken. And all this looks really good, especially if you're, you know, if you have a cold or something like that, this would be magical. And by the way, it's way too hot to pick up. And I myself am pretty damn hot, but I, I can't touch this, which is why we gotta use a special utensil to pick up the, oh, to pick it up and put it onto a plate because again, way too hot. Wow. I need to go back to school. And after a nice, beautiful, amazing, fresh, delicious meal, you know, from all the food you guys have seen over there, of course, we've got to end it with a little dessert and we've got a ton of different desserts over here. We have a financier, a chocolate financier, a fruit mousse, what looks like passion fruit pudding. Passion fruit is great, by the way, wonderful stuff. We've got an apricot tarts, We've got black forest and tiramisu in a coffee cup. And next to this, we have got durian cake. For you durian lovers out there, this smells like SS2. And right next to the durian cake, we have macarons. It just looks so delicious and wow. And of course, guys, it is again, Deep Bali weekend. And as such, you can see the decor over here is really fitting the theme of Deep Bali. And so are the desserts. We have got a ton of traditional Indian desserts this is the kind of stuff I would see in my grandma's house, you know? You know, because uh, older people, they tend to like this stuff, and younger people too. It's really good stuff, but my, my grandparents are the ones who introduced these desserts to me as a kid, and uh, oh wow, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna reconnect with my roots shortly. Okay, moving on, we have a chocolate mousse, carrot walnut cake, a burnt cheesecake, which looks absolutely amazing. Wonderful, we have a fruit cake, which I know my grandmother would love, she loves fruits so much. Berry tarts, we've got a few other desserts over here as well, like lemongrass jelly and this interesting looking, I think it's a Malaysian dessert as well. We've got some creme caramel, that's uh, Francais or French. I took French in high school for three years. There's, uh, anyways, anyways, moving on, it was an interesting time back then. We've got a chocolate fudge cake and we have got what seems to be ice kacang. And ice kacang is just awesome, especially the weather these days, it's so hot. You know, you want something cool and refreshing. Ice kacang has got you. And next to ice kacang, if you guys like ice cream, you're in luck because we have ice cream with gummy bears, chocolate sprinkles, nuts, more gummy things, and normal sprinkles. And it's just, this is every kid's dream. And I'm a kid at heart, so this is my dream too. Speaking of dreams, we also love chocolate fountains. And here in the Lemon Garden, they have their own chocolate fountain. And just look at how decadent and delicious and warm and gooey and oozy and just ooh, 
amazing that is. You can dip marshmallows inside or, you know, these little chocolate love letters. And of course, if you guys like a healthy dessert, we've also got a little fruit selection over here that's quite interesting, actually. We've got papaya, pineapple, watermelon, passion fruit, and honeydew. These are fruits you don't really see too often, especially passion fruit. It's my first time seeing a passion fruit in real life, actually. So that's pretty cool. If you guys like a little wine just to go along with your meal, there's a little wine selection over here that you can choose from. And I love wine, so uh, I'd recommend this 100%. Good stuff. And guys, that will be it for the Lemon Garden Buffet here in Shangri-La KL. And I have to say, it is just amazing. It's a wonderful spread of food. And if you guys love seafood, like this is the place for you. The buffet here is super and the seafood is extra super. It is just wonderful. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe because it helps us a lot. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon.